But let's talk about the prophetic word again today. Let's look at John chapter 6, verse 4 to 11. This prophetic word is the who, the where, the what, the how, and the when. And the Lord is working in your life in the same way. And you have to understand, as you look at the tapestry of your life and the work that He's doing presently in your life, you need to ask yourself where you're at concerning Him, concerning His who, His where, His what, His how, and His when. We are never in front of any of these things. It is the Lord Jesus Christ who is the who. He is the where. He is the what. He is the how. And He is the when. With that being said, let's go to John chapter 6, verse 4 to 11. Now the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was near. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Then Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many? When Jesus said, Make this people sit down, then Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about five thousand. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. So we see in this situation, let's look again at 4 and 5. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was near. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude toward him, uh, coming toward him, he said to Philip, now, the Lord saw this situation before anybody else. Based on the account of this situation, so it's the who. Who is this coming from initially? Where is this coming from? It's coming from when Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming toward him. So Jesus is the who. He says to Philip, and he immediately becomes the where here. Jesus becomes the where. He says to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. So Jesus, in these three verses, becomes the who, where, and what. And the Lord wants you to understand that when he sees something, he's always going to bring it to your attention. The things that you see that you know that you need to do right, and you know that this is something that God is leading you in, God saw it first. Jesus saw this first. He is the who. He is the where it's going to come from. He is the what it is that's going to make this happen. He is the how. And then he is also the when. In verse 7, it says, Philip answered him, saying, 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. See, Jesus said, where is this going to come from? And Philip immediately went to the how. How is this going to happen? We don't have enough resources to do this. Why are you bringing this up? Jesus is bringing us up because he's the who, he's the where, and he's the what, and now he's the how. Because he himself knew what he would do, the Bible says. And in our situation, in our lives, the Lord knew he himself knows what he is going to do. What he is going to do. And so, Philip answered him, but 200 denarii uh, worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of the other disciples, Andrew, Simon, Peter, bro Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are they among so many? So we see the first one saying we don't have enough, and another person looking at their resources, confirming that they don't have enough, and looking at the situation. That's a great idea, God. But you're placing us in a situation to do something that the resources are not evident to do. That's because Jesus is the who. He is the where. He is the what. And he is the how. And he is the when.
And if we actually approach the Lord when we know God is working in our lives in this order, then we will look forward to the next step. When we know and are confident that Jesus is the who, we enjoy where it's going to come from because he's the where. And then we it, that escalates to the what and then escalates even more to the how and even further when we see the faithfulness of God when. And so it begins with the who. We can never get too confidently and with great joy in that experience with God to the when until we appreciate the who and the where and the what and the how. So with that being said also, he goes on to say, there is a lad, Andrew says, there is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fishes. But what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, the next thing he says, he doesn't rebuke these, these guys' unbelief, but he's trying to show them, for he knew what he himself would do. He knew what he himself would do. Then Jesus said, make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about 5,000. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. We can get to that place of green grass when we embrace the who, the where, the what, and the how. Then Jesus said, make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in that place, so the men sat down in a number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, this is, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. It was when the Lord did what he was going to do, the disciples were involved with the real work of God. And the disciples, uh, to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. So again, when Jesus is the who, we're going to so look forward to the when. When he is the who, when, when he is the where, when he is the what, when he is the how, the when takes place. When he is the who, when he is the where, when he is the what, and when he is the how, the when is going to take place. And it's going to be thoroughly enjoyed because that's not going to be the first thing that comes out of our mouth. Teaches, Jesus is teaching us how to know the when when we know the who. And believe that. We know the where, we know the what, and we know the how, because every single one of them are him. Not how he's going to do it, but who he is, where it's going to come from, what he's going to do, and when he's going to do it. God bless you, and have a great day.